Oh, Lord have mercy. I swear, I just ran right over a manatee. I didn't have my camera on. Scared the living bejeebies out of me. Soaked my freaking arm. I mean, literally, like right there. Ho, ho, ho. Woo. Oh. oh, my gosh. What a way to start the morning, man. I wanted to share with you guys something I was thinking about this morning, and that is hope like today is a new day it's monday everything just starting brand new and stuff and it's good to just like renew hope you know i think we get discouraged about things in life that are going on and we start losing hope like man are things gonna ever change and you know what sometimes things aren't gonna change but the importance of having hope until we get to that point where we realize you know what this isn't going to change. There's something I can do about it. So I'm going to make a change so that I don't have to live in whatever this mess is that I'm living in, right? But then there's other times where we don't have control over the situation. It's really important to continue to have some type of hope. There's always something good that we can focus on, right? If we focus on the things that are distressing in our life, then we're going to really, really feel like depressed and distressed. But if we focus on the good things in our life, even in the midst of a very difficult situation where there just doesn't seem any way out or there's no remedy or, you know, there's a terminal outcome to whatever that situation is. If we focus on the positive things in our life, it will even help us get through those very distressing and difficult times. Oftentimes, I'll just sit down, I'll make a list of the things that I'm grateful for you guys, I'll just list them all out and I'll start focusing on the good things in my life and get my eyes off of the bad things in my life and it'll help renew my hope. You know what? Every day is a new beginning. So it's Monday. I have a new beginning and I have reached my first fishing spot here and uh, man, what a beautiful day this is. So yeah, here we go. I hope I catch a fish. We're doing something a little different this morning. A buddy of mine said, go get some Procure, some Inshore, some shrimp scent. You guys know I don't generally use some type of scent on my baits. And I said, rig up with some soft pla plastics, put a little bit of this on there and get out there and bounce them around docks and see what happens. Very strange is going on here. So many freaking hits, man. Got it. There we go. All right. Well, okay. Mystery solved. We got squirrel fish, sand perch. Thanks for the catch. Fish on. What do we got? All right, we got a little grouper. Okay, little grouper. That's exciting. Maybe that's what's been hitting all morning. <laughs> Thanks for the catch, little guy. See ya. Oh my God. Well, I've been out here about three hours, you guys. I like fished 30 docks. I've caught two fish, little grouper, little sand perch, and probably had 30 hits, the equivalent to about one hit per dock. Now I've been broke off twice right here on this dock. I don't know what's going on. I'm fishing with 15 pound test monofilament today. My Daiwa BG series 2500 reel and uh, yeah, straight mono and big game tri-lane. And then I've got an ugly stick elite seven foot rod I'm fishing with. So hopefully we're gonna get on some good fish here in a little while. I'm trying to find something good to eat here. I was hoping for something to good to eat. Looks like I'm gonna have something good to eat right here. Got me the coconut that's adrift. We'll take it and be my mascot. Not exactly what I was fishing for today, but I'll take it. Hey, hey. got us. Oh, 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 here we go. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Yes. Look at this. That's what I'm talking about. A coconut and a flounder. Yes. 
I don't think he's gonna make it though. 11. 11 inches, not gonna make it. Definitely what we are after today. All right, buddy, see ya. Yes! Oh man, I'm getting hits like freaking crazy under there, man. Slam, there we go. Oh, <laughs> all right. Little snapper, snapper, snapper. Gotta be structure, see ya. So guys, the lure I'm using today is called a Little John. It's a mirror lure. I'm using eight ounce jig heads, and I've got them in two different colors. One's a root beer color, and the other one's this emerald green, and they both have the gold and bronze flecks in them, and uh, yeah. Oh man, you guys, this is, this is such a handy tool to have the uh, fish getter offers, the D-hooker. Look at the size of these grouper. Oh. Dude, these are 